Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Sapphire Trix utility. This utility I'm using on the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 598 GB OC backplate special edition model number 11289-01-20G. Now this utility has a ton of uses and I'm gonna explain a lot, if not all of them to you now. So when you first start it off, you're in the dashboard. The dashboard shows you what your GPU clock, your memory clock, your VDVC offset clock, what they're currently at. But let's say you wanna overclock a little bit. So you just click on this little ball here and either you can drag it or you can just cl click on it and use your keyboard, which that's the best way in my opinion to do it. You can get a lot more granular that way. And then let's say we're gonna play with our memory clock and then our VDDC offset. Then we come over here, click apply, and we're overclocked, so now we gotta test. Now, you're gonna set your settings, and mind you, the way I do it is typically five megahertz at a time, test, works, bump it up again, etc. But, you know, let's say you think this is gonna work for you, you wanna save it just in case you get a blue screen or whatever, so you can go either up from there or down from there. You can click on any one of these profiles. You have five profiles. Click on it and then click save so that if you come back and all your settings have been reset, they're all back to stock. You know, and I want to work off of what I had before. You just click on four, load, and now you have all your settings. So you may not have seen it before, but if I, you know, messed up, whoops, I sneezed while I was sliding it. And you know, I want to go back to factory defaults. I can just click right here, reset, and I'm back to factory default on all three of these. Uh, I can change my fan settings from auto to fixed. I can move my slide around here, or I can create a custom fan speed here so that when it hits a certain temperature, it'll go up to a certain percentage. Very nice. Uh, now, most of this has already been in the previous version of Tricks. This newer version looks a lot more slick and it looks, and from everything I've been using it for so far, has been a lot more accurate and just a lot more robust. I like this one. This also gives you the ability of while you're playing with your overclocks and you wanna get very granular on your overclocks, you want to see what each of your specific sensors are at you can just click down here, log now, and save your log, and then analyze how those sensors have been reading. Then down here, they have some preset power and stealth settings. You know, uh, stealth might be for, if you wanna put this inside of an ITX system, you wanna use it as a media server, you wanna down clock it a little bit, and you know, let the program do its own thing, you click on stealth, then you're more worried about power, right over here, you can see how everything, the board power limit bumps up 5%. On stealth, it actually goes down 5%. 5%. So these buttons do work. You may want to check them out. Now, then we go over to the hardware monitor tab. Before, on the previous version of Trix, when you click the hardware monitor, it would open up in its own separate window. You may or may not have found that useful. I kind of like the way they did it here. Uh, everything in its own little box there and then you can just come in here hardware monitor and check out everything here then this is a very handy one because on any video card there is a chance that a fan could be failing and you want to find out what fan that is so you just come here now you're about a foot away so don't worry that that noise you well this noise you would hear because that's revving up the fans as fast as they can go. That's just making sure the fans are good. So now it's jumping over to the second fan. And you can see they're good. Now, fans, like I said, on any video card, on any anything, they could die. So what happens if I click start fan and I hold a fan? Let's check it out. Uh-oh, my fan's not working. 
So right now it's checking fan one and I feel it pulsating. It's pushing the fan, trying to get some power, trying to make it spin. So now it's gonna go over to fan two. All right, so that fan is done. It's gonna rev up in a second, but it's really only testing fan number two right now. So when the fan check is done, uh-oh, we have a fan that has a problem. And Sapphire has done a great job with these video cards. Anyone else, any other video card manufacturer, when they give you a fan, that's it, it's stuck there forever, you gotta send the card back. These guys actually have a way of allowing you to remove the fan, you know, call them up or create a case, they're gonna send you another fan. When that fan arrives, there's an easy way, I've made a video on it, on how to replace that fan, and there you go. So, that's awesome on Sapphire's part, makes it a lot easier for all of us. So Nitro Glow, this is something that probably you're all interested in. And actually I had it on off. Let me go ahead and turn off the light. Okay, so right now you can see only two fans glowing. So if I click over here, pure blue color, you can see the Sapphire logo is lit blue. I can change here the brightness. So from 100 to 75, from 75 to 50, and if I don't like it, like I had it before, off. Not that I don't like it, I was just testing. So then we can go to Rainbow. And you can see the Sapphire logo changing colors. It's going to go through the full spectrum of that rainbow. Pretty nice. And then color change by PCB temperature. Right now we're not stressing it at all. So, you know, it's going to stay that blue and my needle blink on and off, but it's gonna stay that blue. As the card gets hotter, that color will change. Then color change by fan speed. It's not spinning now, but what happens if we go over to fan check? You can see it's at red. And then that's gonna change, of course, by the, the speed. Now this is gonna be at 100%. So it might not be the best test, but it's better than starting up a game, playing it a little bit. Um, a quick, easy example on how that works. So now, if I come over here to custom color, I can actually change my color here. Just click on it. And you can see how that changes right with me. And then if I want, if I, if I find this difficult, I can just come over here and select these colors and bump it back up to 100. And then over here, under, and then as you saw before, we can do turn off, okay? Then over here, card info gives us all the information on our system. If we're overclocking the BIOS, the actual BIOS itself, the firmware, we can save the stock BIOS. Anywhere we want and then use it if we want to later on. And then over here, some more settings. Show effect, effective memory clock, let's enable that. Set clock on change, save fan settings with profile, disable ULPS, load on Windows startup. We can just enable all of these guys. Come back over here to dashboard. Looks a little bit different now because we can see all of this over here. So looks pretty cool. And then, you know, if we don't like it, we can just Turn these off. I have to turn these off because I don't want to mess up my testing, but gives you a good idea. I don't mind. I want it to start with Windows. And then if we had any other card there, it would show it here. Then as you can see, it is a beta. This is a beta uh, tricks release. And then it's here showing us the card. And that's about it. So I hope I've helped you on this. I am gonna give you a link down in the description below where you can find tricks. I see a lot of people have problems finding this. So hopefully I'll help you out. Uh, definitely take a look at their site as well. You know, you might find something else you might like there. Uh, you might notice the fans are off right now. They're gonna be off till they reach 60 degrees. And at that point, they turn back on and, or they turn on, should I say, and then they work as normal. But, uh, you know, I hope I help you guys out. If I have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I try to make content like this as much as possible. 
every Monday and Friday. Sometimes I'll throw in a Wednesday. Not all the time because, well, my wife says she wants me and, well, if I'm always doing this, I don't have time for her. But, but, but I want time for you guys too. So I'll make them when I can on Wednesdays, but Monday and Friday, every time unless something happens. But anyway, this is Iggy again, showing you guys how to use tricks on the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX590 8GB OC backplate special edition model number 11289-01-20G. Iggy out. See you guys.